Hey guys, thanks for joining us on another Warlord Wednesday. I got my buddy Bennett here. Hey Bennett. Hello. And we're gonna do another bolt action game, but today we're gonna do Tank War. This is actually my first game of Tank War. Have you played Tank War before, Bennett? No, first time. First time. So it's our first time with Tank War. Uh, it's obviously bolt action second edition, and uh, I don't think the rules have changed much for Tank War. So we're gonna go through that for our first game, and uh, we're doing 1,300 points: Americans versus Germans. So let's go. This is the table. Uh, they recommend you go for sort of a more sparse, uh, sparse. I don't know if sparse is actually a word. <laughs> uh, table, and we got five objectives on the board. There's one over here, and this trees over here. One at the entrance of this road down here. One in the centre of the table here by this hill. One down there in that forest over there, and one on this little mini outcrop over there. So those are the five objectives. Uh, obviously, the game's six turns, seventh with a uh, random. Yep. Uh, and then the person with the most objectives wins. We're doing 1,300 points, and this is my army. So my army is going to be led by a Sherman commander. And I've got another two Shermans in support, two light chaffies, and then I've got two a half ton dodge truck and an M3 with two 10 man squads in each, and a little jeep for support. So I've got 10 dice, 1,300 points, nice basic tank army with lots of little light tanks and medium tanks, some infantry support for capturing objectives, and let's have a look at Bennett's. What do you got Bennett? Okay, so I've obviously got uh, some infantry support for my tank, so I've got two half tracks with two veteran Faust and Jäger squads in, I've obviously got Panzerfausts, yeah, a few SMGs, um, I've got a Pumas, like a scout car, little, little tank, good for knocking out uh, vehicles with its medium anti-tank gun, and then I've got um, three Panzer IVs uh, with their heavy anti tank guns, so they're pretty good at knocking stuff out. Yeah, so this will be interesting. I'm really looking forward to this. I've not played Tank Wars before, and uh, uh, I. I love the idea of just a massive tank battle. So look, we've got the point board set up, we've got the scenario, we've got the forces. We'll be back off to the first turn. Alright, so the first turn is done. Uh, pretty simple and easy first turn. I kept uh, three of my Shermans in reserve with my command Sherman. I brought all my I got the first couple of dice out, and I brought my half track up there behind the hill for the objective. I've bypassed this one over here. I brought my dodge truck with the infantry squad onto this objective, and I brought my jeep in behind the hill there. As you can see, both of them are flaming because the Bennett has struck. Yes. Oh my god, he's so jammy. <laughs> so he brought a Cooper wagon on, fired through the trees, needed a six to hit, got one hit. Oh no, he got two hits, double six dependent, blows up the jeep. Right, great, good stuff. Uh, Cooper wagon comes on. One hit on the jeep, six to wound. <laughs> six to hit, six to wound. It's so many sixes. What's that? That's six sixes in one turn? Yeah. That's not bad. Oh my gosh. But, okay, so my plan was I brought on the, the faster vehicles first because I wanted to grab some objectives, put some pressure on Bennett in terms of um, victory uh, conditions, and then maybe have him fire on the half tracks while I move my tanks up into position. Um, obviously, that's gone to pot now as he's already taken out two of them on the first turn. And Bennett's gone for a very covered position, so he's got his couple wagons here on the my right flank. Half track. Or half track. Yeah. <laughs> well, the half track's on the right flank here, with uh, one panther in just behind him, and then the other panther's down in the corner there. Panzer fours. Panzer fours. <laughs> um, with uh, the. What's the ground? That's, or the, that's a puma. Puma. Yeah, I'm, I'm good at these names. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that's the positions of to turn one. How do you think the first turn's going? Yeah, it's good. More sixes, please. Yeah, I didn't get any sixes on my turn. <laughs> I don't think you rolled any dice to shoot or anything, did you? Well, these both oh, shot. Yeah, 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 my yeah, chaffies came on and fired both of the Cooper wagon over there, and I needed sixes to hit, which all missed. And that, that was pretty much it. So, first turn done. Let's go on to the second turn. All right, so two, turn two is done, and uh, a couple more of my reserves came on. My command tank and my other Sherman over here. Gone quite heavy on the right, as you can see. I'll zoom out a bit. And uh, little sm smokes. On them, I showed all the fires. I fired on Bennett's um, half track down there, the armored car. Uh, I managed to mobilize it and put three pin markers on it. I see it on fire as well, but the, the crew managed to put it out. Yeah, <laughs> true, a proper train. Uh, but it's kind of a stalemate at the moment. I mean, uh, I'm stuck in here behind. Got these things went down, these things went down. Bennett's uh, infantry squad on the right there jumped out and um, took cover behind the hill there because there's an objective. This armored truck has sacrificed itself somehow. Some the guy inside there has got balls of steel. 
drives out into the head. Luring all the tanks out, so my tanks know where they are. <laughs> <laughs> Leave, left the squad behind, it just drove out onto the road. And that's a couple of my Shermans fired at it, but it missed. Uh, it's a good and driver. Yeah, <laughs> it's swerving around like <laughs> Matrix car. Uh, Bennett fired with uh, this Panther over here behind the trees, fired Panzer. across Panzer onto my Sherman, put a pin marker on it, because it just managed to hit it. And uh, that's pretty much it. That Panther. Panzer, Panzer, four. Panzer came around here and fired onto my uh, half track, but I went down. I'm down. Not that it matters. I had heavy cover and stuff. He missed. It's the story of this particular game. You just roll one dice, missed. One dice, miss. One dice, miss. So it, it's interesting. Yeah. How do you feel so far as game? Yeah, so it's a very sort of cagey sort of game because obviously mm. once you start losing stuff, it's going to feel really difficult but, but I do understand what you're saying where it's literally just one shot because normally you used to chuck in a few dice at, yeah. at units and picking off a guy here or there but now it just feels like I've got one shot and that's it you don't exactly. really do much and uh, you, with the uh, normal bolt action you get the weighted dice to try and get pin markers yeah, and stuff yeah, like yeah. but it's just missed 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 See, I think I think pinning is going to be definitely less effective against the vehicles um, because obviously it's only one shot normally unless you've got something with lots of loads of little shots yeah and uh, these heavy guns are going to be firing quite a bit until something actually does damage. So objective wise, um, this is the end of turn two. Bennett's got that objective over there and one in the forest there and I've got this one over here. I don't think I'm close enough for that one and then no one's got this one yet. So 2-1 to you Bennett, going on mm. to turn three. Let's see how long we last. Turn three has come to an end and that was an interesting turn. Um, give you a survey of the battlefield. There we go. So, first couple of dice that came out were a couple of mine. I moved my command tank up to there and fired on... I'm pretty sure I fired on the, the, the half track, the half track, didn't I? Yeah, I think that took like three shots and nothing. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, again, missed it, which was really annoying. Uh, and then I tried to move this uh, tank over here, but it's got one pin from a previous turn. Uh, yeah. And it failed its um, morale check, so it went down. Uh, Bennett... What did you do on your turn? Oh, early Not doors. Not really. Yeah. So <laughs> I, did, I had five dice in the like the, uh, after uh, you have done everything. I just had five dice, dice in the in bag. The bag so yeah. I had three, yeah. which was like I moved up that tank there, which fired on the half track and missed. This fired. Yep. And then oh, that fired on this tank over here. Yeah. yeah missed, yeah. didn't it? And then uh, I did the Puma as well. And the Puma fired onto my command tank over here and missed. So that that was the basics of what Bennett done in the beginning turns. I reformed this to maybe take on this uh, Panzer, or Panther. Panzer, Panzer, right, right. Panzer that was moving up this flank. I had another uh, Sherman in reserve. Uh, I pulled it, pulled it in, came up here, and it fired into the flank of that um, Panzer over there and took it out with a direct hit, which was super cool. I was really chuffed at that, considering most of the game is roll miss, roll miss. As Bennett suffered in the first turns, missed all my tanks over here because I don't have as much cover as he does on his side or at least I'm not using as much cover uh, then I did a couple of small arms fires uh, this squad has a bar gunner they fired onto the infantry squad that was in that forest of the woods over there took one out put a pin marker on my half track moved up onto the objective here and fired onto them as well took one out put a pin marker on them and then unbelievably Bennett passed his morale trick on the half track at the back there and they fired into the woods but because of the pin markers they needed loads this one then advanced up to this little shrubbery over here and took one of the infantry guys out there, put a pin marker on them. And then those guys passed their command check and moved away from the small arms fire coming their direction, moved in behind the tank. And I think that's roughly about it. That's pretty much it, yeah. There's not really a lot else that's happened. Yeah. Um, Bennett's like Bennett said, he fired those three tanks at my tanks, mostly the command tank, two shots on him, both missed, one on him, and that also missed. So, at the end of turn three, I've got three objectives. Bennett's got two. I've taken out one of his panzers, which is really useful. And I've, I think I could now push on this left flank a bit and try and put some pressure on you, Ben. Nah, I'm feeling cool, man. <laughs> some famous last words. But, although these freaking half tracks are impossible to hit. It's just zipping around, just like <laughs> machine guns firing everywhere. Well, right, to turn four we go. Turn four, and the heat is on. All my tanks are moving into position. I'm massing on strength on Bennett. You feeling the pressure, man? Feeling the pressure, In that pressure yeah. cooker. It is. The amount of tanks you've got is putting me under quite a bit of strain now. I was actually really good, sort of worried at the beginning of the game because I got like a couple of light tanks, a couple of medium tanks, and you've obviously got the, the 
the um what are the, what's the word I'm looking for? Panzers, they're more yeah. intimidating, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they're more they look li- larger, but they're still medium tanks, so <laughs> the only difference is they've got a heavier weapon. Yeah. Which is a heavy anti tank gun. But they need to hit still. That's true. So weight of fire is uh, is probably more beneficial in this situation. So what happened was Ben got the first t- dice, that tank behind the tree there, fired on my Sherman over here, and uh, actually missed him. Then this Puma moved out from the forest, fired on him, uh, got a hit through, but um, didn't do anything on the official damage, yeah. so it's just two pins. So it can no longer rotate. Yeah, turret jam. So it's got two pins, can't rotate. I then uh, before that happened though, I fired my tank on the one in the forest, uh, missed as of course. Uh, then I activated my command tank after that guy moved out into the open, fired on my command tank, uh, which I think Bennett missed. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he did. Uh, or you might have got hit one because I reduced that. Uh, when I oh, took yeah. my arm, I t- you got a hit but no, no real damage. Uh, I then took my command test, passed, removed the pin marker, fired onto your tank, which mm. did nothing, I think. Uh, but I did use my command ability to move my um, chaffy up this way and fire on the puma and did exactly the same thing that happened to this Sherman on him. So those two are going to basically just ram each other with guns firing. Possibly, yeah. Um, then a couple of small arms fire from here. I went down because I'm just basically holding on to the objective. Both of the uh, half jacks are constantly firing onto um, them. Got another pin marker but no casualties. And f- talking about small arms fire, my half track killed right behind that tank there. Those two veterans ran from the forest over to behind the from tank. Tank there. to tank, yeah. And one guy left his head hanging out and got sniped. <laughs> sniped by a machine gun. Yeah. <laughs> and my infantry over here has run backwards towards this objective as I'm moving my tanks forward. Just secure the road. And over here, this tank passed its command test, moved up, fired on that tank over there, got a hit but no wounds. This chaffy moved up, did the same thing. Nothing really happened there. Uh, so that is the situation at the end of turn four, three objectives to two currently, uh, and the tanks are getting a little more aggressive now. I think before we were a little cagey at what was happening. Yeah, I think I've just got, I've sort of almost, after losing that tank there, I've gone very aggressive because I think, well, I need to do something, because sitting back and firing is not going to help me, especially with the, the amount of shots that you've got compared to mine, although yeah. mine, mine need to hit because they've got heavy, heavier penetration. So. But that, that's kind of the thought process I had as well now that I've had number, you've got two tanks plus the armoured car, or what yeah. do you want to call it, and I've got five tanks, I kind of feel like I should just get weighted numbers yeah, yeah, and definitely. push on you. Definitely push on to me because I mean, you're gonna, you're, the, with the amount of shots you've got, because because we're only single shots, it's so difficult to actually damage tanks, but once you do damage them, you, you either blow them up or sort of cripple them. It's like the busted up pants over here. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, on to turn 5 we go. Okay, so turn 5, and uh, that was a super easy turn. It was kind of like, uh, it was one thing on my mind, which was to put as much damage as I could on Bennett's Panzer at the back there, which happened to be his command tank as well. So, first dice came out, started down the line, fired, missed. Next day, dice came out, I got this one, fired, missed. Then I thought, ah, oh, that's my luck gone. Two, two dice came out first, both tanks fired and missed. Uh, but then a third one came out on my command tank, and I thought, right, this is it. Fire, missed. Actually, I got a hit, which put a pin mark on it, but uh, it wasn't, uh, it didn't penetrate. So I was like, oh, that's not really good. And then Bennett got the dice out, and uh, his half track, which was over there on the road, the yeah, had a two pin markers on, rolled double six, foobar for its... Um, uh, activation and then panicked and reversed all the way back into the forest. So that was quite funny. I wasn't too disappointed with that because obviously I didn't have any firing on my tanks from here. As it happens, the next dice came out was Bennett's. He has another Panzer uh, behind the trees over there. Fired on the one tank that hadn't fired yet because I had moved this chaffy up to fire on. Oh, actually, I forgot. That's what I mentioned. It was this that killed it, didn't it? What, this? Yeah. Uh, no, no, it was the last, was the last tank. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So this moved up from your into there, fired onto there, missed again. So that's four tanks firing on it, all missed. Then Bennett fired his Panzer onto there, rolled a one to hit, of course. And then in my turn, I passed my command test, uh, removing a pin, but then I fired and took it out. Six to hit, six to wound, boom. 
So that was really, really happy. That's obviously two big burning panzers on the left flank there, on my left flank. The scout car, or whatever you want to call it, the half track armored car thing retreated. You could have had four different things there. <laughs> no, Puma. Goddamn Puma. Uh, and then small arms fire again. All these, both half tracks fired onto my infantry squad in the woods. I went down again. Uh, one did get through and put a wound on it. I just told Bella to remind me, I'm going to keep them on a down order for next turn so I can remove D3 pin mark. Is it D3 on a down order? Yeah, D3. Which is obviously one of the new rules on Bolt Action 2nd Edition, which will be really useful. And then the only other thing I did was this unit advanced a little bit further to get back into cover and face the right direction, claiming that objective. Half track, fired onto the Germans in the wood, put a pin mark on them. And that is that for turn 5. Mm. So, not a lot of casualties, but significant. Panzer command tank taken out, one random GI soldier from the Yanks taken out. Scores are still three points to two to the Americans. Feeling the the, the, the strain is on now. It's a case of survival rather than uh, than anything else, I think, at the moment. Well, this is the thing. I mean, uh, what what's significant here is that I've got three objectives to your two. And for you to win this game, you need to take me off either one of these three objectives. Yeah. But what you, how you're going to do that is I'm not really sure yet. Because you're basically, your superior tanks are being taken out. Not that superior. <laughs> I'm get plus one damage over yours. Hell. And, oh. and that, the only things you've done damage is my half tracks. Yeah, well, I did all my good stuff in the first turn. Oh. I just destroyed two transport vehicles, so uh, that's it. Hello. So there we go. So, on to turn six. This could be the last turn of the game. And then we'll roll to see if there's a turn seven. Alright, so, we've finished... What was this turn six? Turn six, yeah. yeah so turn six. Uh, what we just realized is we made a slight mistake. Um, this, in Tank Wars, there is actually seven turns, and then you roll to see if there's an eighth turn. And what we only found that out at the end of the round, where I'll explain why that's significant. So what we're going to do is, at the end of this explanation of what happened, we're going to roll the D6, and on a one or a two, the game will end, not a one, two, or three. Because um, I had the first couple of dice come out. I fired... Tank number one, actually, I think I'll fire this one first because he had the best clear view of the Panzer behind the trees. <laughs> uh, he had one pin marker, which he passed, no problem. Fired, missed. All right, fine, no problem. Next dice came out. Tried this sermon over here. Fired, missed. Chaffee, fire, miss. It's like, this is getting ridiculous. Um, so three tanks all fired and missed on him. I think actually one of them might got a hit through, but... Um, there was there was a one pin marker that went through somewhere, but... I yeah, and I got superficial damage, so he's got two pin markers on. Uh, but still, that's not what I wanted. Uh, his return fire was on that one there and missed, of course. But then Bennett did what is now significant to what will happen. He used his armored car after some light fire again, yeah, back and forth here. No real deal. These guys were down, so they lost two pin markers from staying down. But the major concern here was this armored car raced out from the woods um, with one of Bennett's last activations to try and contest this area because. We thought that the game was going to end, and if it ended this turn, he would have contested it, and it would have been a draw. And of course, I had a couple of tanks left. You had two tanks needing a three plus to hit it, and you missed twice. Yep, two and a two. So, command tank, fired, missed. Jaffe moved around the back, within six inches as well, missed. Come on! <laughs> Jesus! Are you guys tired or what? What's happening here? Okay, so basically that ended the round. There was absolutely no casualties that I can think of or anything significant that happened. Just a couple of pins. I mean, you obviously did da damage on that, but it was just superficial. So Yeah, and everything else of mine. Ooh, the turret didn't jam on it for once, is it? Yeah. <laughs> That's right, three yeah. Three times yeah. that we've done it now, we've had two, two turret jams. So, what's going to happen is Ben is going to roll a dice. On a one or two, the game will end. Where the hell is it? Three. three. So we got another turn. So one more turn for me to take out that goddamn humor. <laughs> I'm just going to chuck everything over there now. <laughs> Alright, so we'll be back with the last and final turn. Alright, so turn seven and the game is done. Mainly because uh, we've called it there, we're not going to roll to see. Uh, we rolled and it would have been another turn. But Ben has got literally that one tank left and then the small arms fire over here. Yeah. That turn was pretty much as expected. I got the first dice, I fired the chaffee into the rear of this, blew it up. And then it was me just firing one tank after another at that missing. Panzer, missing all over a show. He missed uh, firing at the Chaffee because he wanted to use the engineers or whatever they are in there to run out and pee at the Chaffee as well. 
to try and clear out this objective, but they failed the morale test yeah, and went so down. Yeah, did nothing for me. And these guys fired on me, <laughs> when I, I went down as well. And that's pretty much it. So it's three objectives to two. Victory for the Yanks. I'm gonna retreat with my tail between my legs. Well, I just had one panzer. The other guys are running away anyway. Well, near, <laughs> near enough, yeah, pretty much. It's so annoying as well. The tanks keep missing. Even the last, I just thought, you know, at last dice of the round, mm. I'm going to fire at this freaking half track just because I can. You've fired so many shots at that in this game and you've not killed it. No, it's not even. I mean, the one at the back is immobilized, but it's still. It's every, just and every fire. turn, it's just removing a pin, <laughs> fire, remove a pin, fire. So annoying. But oh, on the whole, I actually enjoyed that. Uh, it's a little more frustrating than normal bolt action mm. because it's just that. One dice, need a four plus, miss. Yeah, One dice, five plus, miss. And definitely think that um, weight of fire from tanks, having some, some more smaller tanks is beneficial, because obviously, because it's only a single shot, you've got less chance to hit. When you've got more, more weight of fire, you can do more damage. Yeah. I mean, obviously, if I get through, I knock stuff out, but it's getting through that's the, the trouble. And if, you st if you're clearly you stay behind cover and those type of yeah, things, it making the shots more difficult. That's it, it's going to be really difficult to knock stuff out. The other thing I, I think also is quite significant, we played it on a 4x4 year, I think it was 6x4, yeah. it'll be a little more dynamic because then you'd have to have to do more yeah. maneuvers to the objectives. Yeah, the objectives were quite tight that's on each other, so I mean I got to all three of my objectives really quickly and I've held them pretty much all seven turns. I think, enough, yeah, yeah. I, think, I think you moved up to that on like the second or third turn, yeah. so... But other than that, it was pretty enjoyable, what did you think? Yeah, definitely, well, it's enjoyable, I mean, I'll definitely... Um, you were going to use your Tiger before, and then we changed that for some infantry to make it a little more yeah, thematic. just to try out, because I, I wanted to use the the half tracks anyway, just because it makes, as you say, more thematic, more, a bit of infantry here and there, but I feel in this game, my infantry has done nothing. I don't know how you feel your infantry does. It almost feels like it's not worthwhile taking. No, well, you, I know I, you've claimed your objectives of it. Yeah, but. I like the idea that I didn't have to use my tanks to claim objectives. Yeah. Uh, and so I could use my tanks in an in offensive nature. But, I mean, I am using, I mean, just this, like, this squad, actually, this one, yeah, with the half track, there's about 200 points. That's just another Sherman. That's what I mean, yeah. But in saying that, you, with the rules were saying you can't have more than five tanks. And yeah, I already yeah, have yeah. five well, tanks. You can obviously only take so many, as many tanks as you can fit in, but... So I was, I would have, I would have gone down that route anyway. But I still enjoyed it. I really good fun. And uh, that's 2-1 to me now in our little Warlord Wednesdays. I know, yeah. I'm letting the team down, am I? For the I Germans. Now that I've, I'm leading, I'm going to go play someone else instead. Yeah. I <laughs> so I get my fluke action back on. Well, I, I hope you guys enjoyed this tank war game. And uh, if we made any mistakes, please comment below. And uh, let us know what we've done wrong so we can do it in the future, right? Yeah, right. Definitely, yeah. Cool. Thanks for watching. Thanks for playing, man. Cheers, guys.